Hello everybody, it's Tanya Wells here and today I'm going to be reacting to a wonderful Brazilian singer, one of Brazil's most beloved female singers. Her name is Elise Regina and the song that I'm going to be listening to her sing is called Como Nossa Pais, which is probably one of her landmark performances of which I'm going to speak about later on as we're watching this. Um, it was one of the first videos I had seen of this particular singer and it left a very strong impression. Let's go straight into it. Não quero lhe falar, meu grande amor, de coisas que aprendi nos discos. Quero lhe contar como eu vivi. I think it's important that you have the lyrics. I want to share that. É melhor que sonhar. E eu sei que o amor é uma coisa boa. Mas também sei que qualquer canto é menor do que a vida de qualquer pessoa. First, I just want to say the way that she is already articulating the lyrics is so uh, beautifully controlled, like she's assuming the role of the storyteller. Yeah, she's just not making it fancy in terms of really singing the song or beautifying the melody. She's really getting the point across. And that's why I think it's really important for us to read the lyrics so that we can understand what she's singing. Por isso, cuidado, meu bem, há perigo na esquina. I mean, just the power of her chest voice. So she really gets into that strong chest voice. Por isso, cuidado, meu bem, for this, be careful, my darling. Um, for the danger around the corner, how there's a diminuendo in her voice that's so beautifully controlled. She's just so very much um, embodying the emotions of the song. Eles venceram E o sinal está fechado para nós Que somos jovens I mean, guys, also the context of this song is very, very important. She was singing this, um, I believe, in 1976, which was at the height of Brazil's military dictatorship. When you read the lyrics and you see how she's performing, you can understand the intensity of the situation which so many Brazilians found themselves in, particularly artists, so many Brazilian artists were censored, silenced, many were exiled from Brazil. And Elise Regina herself had many close friends, associates, colleagues who were imprisoned, some tortured. And you can just feel the, the, uh, the intensity, but also just the exhaustion. Um, and you feel like it's all amounting in this one song that she's singing. And that's why her performance is just so powerful and so emotional. Para abraçar seu irmão e beijar sua menina na rua. Oh, absolutely love how she delivered that. You can feel how she's just expressing that pain um and it's it's so beautifully done let's let's continue é que se fez o seu braço o seu lábio e a sua voz você me pergunta pela minha paixão digo que estou encantada com uma nova invenção Eu vou ficar nesta cidade, não vou voltar pro sertão, pois vejo vir vindo no vento, cheiro de nova estação. Eu sinto tudo na ferida viva do meu coração. Oh, 
again, everything is just so much in the chest and it's it's like she's singing like she has nothing to lose um, in that raw, raw emotion. And I think the reason why we feel this song, um, for Brazilians it's so compelling, but I think for her as a performer, you can feel the rawness of her emotions. They are lived and she's living each word and breathing each word of this song. Minha dor é perceber que apesar de termos feito tudo o que fizemos, ainda somos os mesmos e vivemos. Ainda somos os mesmos e vivemos como os nossos pais. Nossos ídolos ainda são os Aparências não me enganam, não Você diz que depois deles Não apareceu mais ninguém So much power, so much force and control To have that much control in the chess register is, is really unique and there's also um, a quality that Elisa Gina has. She was known amongst friends and her close circle as uh, Bimintinha, which is little, little chili or little pepper. And you can just see how she's just exploding in this uh, expression of emotion in this song. And she's not holding back any uh, facade or any sort of self um, conscious performance it really feels like she is um living living the emotions of the song through this performance você pode até dizer que eu tô por fora ou então que eu tô inventando mas é você que é mal passado e que não vê Você que ama o passado e que não vê que o novo sempre vê. Hoje eu sei que quem me deu a ideia de uma nova consciência em juventude está em casa, guardado por Deus. Listen to that emotion. As mais nós somos os mesmos e vivemos. How she has that sort of, even she's controlling it. The sort of quaky crying um, of the voice. Mais nós somos os mesmos. I mean, it's it's so um, it's so beautifully expressed. Like her pain, her anger, her frustration, the exhaustion of the time that she's living in is all condensed into this this song, and it's just it's just an explosion of emotion on her part. <laughs> E vivemos, ainda somos os mesmos E vivemos como os nossos pais Yeah it's it's a very powerful performance, as you just saw. Of course, there is an, a theatrical element to this performance. You know, there's the stage, the props. I don't know, I guess the puppets or the mannequins in the background represent uh, the parents or the, you know, the people in the past who she's referring to were just like our parents. Um, but I think the the liveness, the fact that she's singing this all live with a live band... And it has that raw intensity. It's just a wonder to watch. And it is no wonder that she is one of Brazil's sort of 
top female singers till this day, actually, um, even though I believe she did pass away in the 80s. Let me just check that. Yeah, so she passed away in 1982, sadly. Um, such, such a wonderful singer. Elisa Gina is actually a very important figure, not only um, as a singer, but also as a sort of a person who brought other musicians and songwriters into the limelight because she would perform their songs. So, for instance, this particular song was written by another artist called Bel Cure, and it's really worth listening to his version of this song as well. There's something so nice about listening to an artist singing a song that they've written. He also has a very beautiful voice and also quite an emotional voice as well. And you can hear the, um, yeah, also this sort of lived experience through his voice uh, as he's singing the song that he's written. Um, and she brought other artists that you may be aware of, Milton Nascimento, um, from Minas Gerais and many other artists into the limelight by singing their compositions. So she is a very, very important figure in Brazilian music. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, reaction to this very, very powerful song, Como Nos Spice, by this incredibly powerful pimentinha, <laughs> little, uh, little pepper of an artist. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. You can always join me on Patreon for uh, more musical content for my band Seven Eyes. And I look forward to reacting to more music from different parts of the world and sharing these musical insights with you. That's all for me right now. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully at the next session do leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe for more content like this. And I hope that I will catch you at my next reaction video. Take care, guys. Bye. Look.